Yo, go ahead and talk, all right? Chow with the um, billion dollar seats on the heart. And then Gina Maria Colvin Hill. She does uh, cell phone telelens, some incredible stuff by the sun. I'm going to do some forensic on hers today. So there you go. Pretty interesting. It's a long video. A lot of stuff to look at. I figured I might as well go live with this. I got an audience already. This is Gina Hill and uh, Final Days. And so I got a lot of people that don't watch my channel. Check this out. A little intro I did for you guys. A little special intro. And uh, yeah, I'm going to monitor that Facebook thing going on. I'm watching it right now as I'm talking to you. But these ships are amazing, folks. Shout that out. Thank you for uh, showing up to the Tale of the Dragon, and I'm watching it. It's so far, anything happens, I'm coming back. If it's looped, I'm sorry if it's looped, but um, it still was live somewhere. But I don't think it was looped. I think it's coming right at us. We got the, you know, we got that big comet going down. You know, Atlas coming our way. They shot some missiles at it. Look at this spaceships out right above your head, folks. So I had a brainstorm. I could, I could show this live from my channel. It's my channel. I give myself permission. Everything I do live, folks, I don't care what music. All this music's on here. It's all my music I made, and they copyrighted all of it. So I made it on uh, Music Maker Jam. It says non-copyright, you know. <laughs> so welcome to CCTV. I'm going to be happy, guys. Uh, that was kind of freaky watching that. All you new people, we only get crazy by the moment. Gina, this is great work. Final days. I'm going to show some of her craziness in a minute here. She found a uh, giant, breathing, living, giant, massive ship arc to pick up the uh, Elite for 10 billion bucks a seat. I don't know, guys, but Gina catches some awesome stuff. Keep watching. Shout it out. How you doing, Pierce? Uh, Chris, let me see. Matabu, how you doing, Steven? If I get your name wrong, I'm sorry. Matt Boo, subscribe, subscribe. 3 a.m. London, subscribe, subscribe. It's only going to get stranger, folks. Now, on the left here on this picture, I can tell you it's a hotel, but I'll get to that later. Salute, salute, Shining, a.k.a. what's up? Okay, I'm watching the skies that are live, and I'm saying that I'm I'm gonna say they're in Europe somewhere, or Spain. It could be over the Antichrist, um, uh, Antichrist people in uh, the Vatican. I'm in Amsterdam, which is without a doubt the cannabis capital of the world. I hate and commercials because of the enormous. We'll put a commercial there. Sorry about that. So Manny, what's up? Um, so I don't know where in Europe, but I'll find out, guys. I'll update you on it. I'm going to go back to that if something happens. So we are live, and I'm staying live until they shut me down. Because we're in the, uh, the fake last days. The fake end time, you know? Yeah, it's fake, all right. I've never seen so many freaking UFOs in my life. <laughs> 
Jesus, help us. Now, all this music I came up with yesterday morning. Welcome to CCTV. Today, I'm going to do a couple uh, filterings and forensic show on Final Days. I love her channel. I like this uh, article she put out last week. $10 billion per seat on the ARC. mind blowing people but you see it right so what i'm gonna do i already set some filters up i'm gonna take you through a few of them then i'm gonna do some work on it anyways shout out the final days doing a lot of shout out videos nowadays um and i'm filtering it right here i just already did the filtering so you don't you don't see all that and i just want you to focus on that fish ship let's call it the fish ship it looked like a salmon at first I kept zooming in going, okay, what is, you know, she didn't, you could tell the final days, um, and I don't know your name, I'm sorry, uh, you could tell she didn't do any filtering, because there's no highlights around the letters, or no highlights around this guy, okay, so, you know, she was putting 10,000, 10 billion dollars a seat, I don't know, you know, it could be totally true, I'm thinking about that movie when it was like, you know, China had those boat kind of arcs, and the floods were coming, you know, I forget which movie, 2012 or whatever it was called. Um, but this thing is amazing looking. It's 100% weird. Um, the dead giveaway is like this ship right here. You can see how it's, you know, so I've seen these, some of these ships. Area 51 footage right there. And then you got these ships and are these just pods coming down um, to pick people up. I don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? You gotta love it, though. Okay, let's keep going on with the filters. So watch it. You'll see what I filtered on it. And, I, and I'm not trying to debunk it. I'm trying to see how awesome it looks. I mean, it's just so surreal. See up front here. These are like the front of the ship. It's like a huge... I bet you this sucker blows off and it could take off in space by itself if they had to abandon... This is like a space blimp. Let's call it the space blimp, you know? We have no scientific name for something like this. Okay. Now I'm at this point. What I'm going to do... I'm going to take you to this radio filter. I've already set it up. So I can just hit it. Okay. So you, I can put the filter on, a, on an angle, guys. You got your little bars here. And I could just hone in on an area. Like I could do the dehazing. Remember, dehazing brings it darker. I'm going to bring it darker. And you see these little pods here. The little, they're ships. I think they're like, you know, how, how they're picking the people up. Wherever all the CEOs are all up in here. See, there's one right there that's pretty big. This thing might reach the ground right there. But as I do this radio filter, um, turn the contrast all the way up. See, and now you can see this thing real clear. If I bring the blacks down, you can see that. It'll come out, I think. We are being censored. America's news outlets no longer provide the truth. I'm Joshua Phillip, senior investigative reporter with the Epoch Times, and we stand for truth and tradition. 90% of news outlets in the United States are controlled by six corporations. They're not actually... You can clearly see the V-shaped ship. Now, is this what they've been spending all our money on? Um, great, great shot. Final days. I love your channel. Keep up the good work. May our God bless you. He wishes that you'd be a thousand times. He prays that you'd be a thousand times more blessed than you are with your sister. So, um, 
excellent work, excellent capture. Day of the Lord is at hand. Day of the Lord is at hand. You know what that means, people? The day of the Lord is at hand. I'm gonna put some color on this if we could bring it up more. Bring the exposure up a little bit. I wanna see the front of it. I'm sorry, I wanna see the front of it. And this little tool, and you can tell if something's real, something's fake. Now this actually could could have been, this actually could be um, one of the objects that have been blocking the sun. Have you thought about that, folks? Let's so bring the contrast down, bring the blacks up. Doesn't make much difference in the black. Actually, it's better if I go probably up around the black. Then bring the gamma down exposure. I'm just trying to see things that I could pull out of here. There's that ship. I'm amazed about these ships. They're not even connected. They're like floating underneath. Yeah. Now with this radial tool, I have a linear. Let's just go radial. All I'm doing putting dot and I'm spreading it over an area like this little ship. Now, what's good about this for this show, which I love these filters, you can really mess stuff up. So it doesn't make much difference, right? You can go backwards up here on top, I'm going backwards. So we'll leave that alone on that filter. Let's go back to the fish filter. Hmm. I found a way to run my old computers with no hard drive. Here it is. And it's not in this computer. See, I'm doing the bigger filter now. So you can see there, this thing is truly not a fish, but something bigger. Let's see if I can light that head up there up. This is what I wanted to really see right here. So I'm gonna create a filter just for this area. I know it's bright. Let's turn it down. I say, you know, you can mess some pictures up. Thank God for reverse. So I really want to see here is up here. I lined it up. I wanted to see the structure up there. See that structure? I could spend all day doing this one. But um, it's fun. Let's see what you're really looking at. And so the filters, they really give me the opportunity to explore more than meets the eye. And see, I'm just doing that general area. Let's go down here, see what we can get. Now, everything I, I change in that circle. Bring out distinction. Sometimes it just, you know, so, this is so real that it's hard to separate it from the clouds and the fog. Um, so you got a larger triangle coming down to the ground. See this thing? I think it's actually touching the ground. See right here? 
So I'm just hitting this area. Let's do it like that. So whatever we slide it over, it's going to bring it out. Except for up there. I do need a lighter. So see right here, the structure down here? This is how they're picking them up. Right off the ground. Yeah, right off the ground. It goes right to the ground. And then, you know, the sunlight. I don't know. It could be these little ships that are picking them up. Very good capture, final days. Very good. I've been wanting to do this. So, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Anyways, let's go to something else. Let's go to some Agena stuff. If you have an old slow computer, you have to see this. Put the extra PC into the USB port right there on the side of the computer like that. And I'm gonna double click on that right now and I'll count you in. Ready, here we go. Three, two, one, double clicking. <laughs> All right, that was fast. And if you're anything like me, you probably have some old computers around your house that just aren't working as fast as they used to. It's a remarkable little device that I've discovered and it is called Extra PC. It's a USB stick, a normal USB drive. And on this drive is an entire operating system. So we find our USB port that we want to use, hit the power button and start hitting the F12 key. It'll bring up a menu that you need. There it is, that was super fast. We're gonna go ahead and take the down arrow to USB storage device and hit enter. And then watch the magic. Mark Oman started a small computer business with his son and now it's a multi-million dollar company. There it is right there, Extra PC. Uh, what exactly is it? What does your company do? Well, Extra PC is a very small uh, device that actually um, takes any old computer, Mac PC, and makes it like new. Mm -hmm. There's a billion old computers uh, actually in the world today still in use. And those computers mostly end up in the landfill or on a shelf somewhere. Mm -hmm. With Extra PC, you can actually uh, make that computer like new, make well, it useful again. This laptop, uh, the hard drive is completely hasn't booted up in years, and uh, theoretically, extra PC should bring it back to light. I'm going to put it into the side of this laptop right there, and we're just going to hit the power button, and we're going to see what happens. Now, remember, I've seen this before, and I've seen that. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. That screen that was just up there, that, that, it has been locked on that screen for years. It's extra PC. I didn't even do anything. All I did was just hit the power button. We were about to throw this to the curb and my wife's computer broke. We couldn't afford to, you know, buy a new one. And I just had to try out extra PC. Let's go to Google first. Okay. Now YouTube, look how fast this is. We'll go ahead and play a video right now. Okay. See how quick that loads? That is incredible. I think this thing is about 10 times faster than it was before. I'll take you over to Gina's site in a minute, but she's been catching these ships. And I said, okay, I wonder what I could do on my cam. And she's got really good pictures. She's catching these off her cell phone with a fellow lens. And I just actually bought one. And the tele lens, really, she's using, I think she said, a, um, <clears throat> I forget, iPhone 8? Anyways, Gina, awesome job. Look at this, Gina. I'm going to show you a couple things. I, th I know you're going to like this. <laughs> Gina gave me permission as long as I give her a shout out. Uh, Facebook, she has a ton of these pictures. And, and like, this is one. I, I don't know if that's the sun. I believe it's the sun. But, um, <clears throat> so let's go in here and see what we could find. I found something earlier. I was just playing around seeing if I wanted to do this. And uh, to start out with, though, I seen a ship here. Well, let's go with this one to start out. That's like the back end with a, you see the flames, you know? And uh, just a 
amazing pictures. Let's go through her library real quick. I just took these snapshots to get a really clear shot of these things. You can see the detail without doing nothing. <laughs> what? I'm gonna do something. I can't help it. I gotta do something. Let's look at these two. Hope you like this, Gina. If you want to know what the filters are, just uh, email me. I'll tell you the filters. Good like see, and it, that's too much filter for it, so I don't want to use that much filter on these. I want to keep the green background if I can. I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit. See, it's good edges on it, good sharp edges. I'm gonna do the autocorrect. See, the autocorrect wants to bring it down again. I'm gonna bring it back up the light. Still autocorrect. Wow. Now I do have a, on my other computer a, a maximizer. You see how that ship is structured, folks? Let's get some shadow on it. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Just like separates it. It's got like a magnetic field or something around it. What in the world? Awesome picture. So each one is a real ship. It's an actual, you know, spaceships, like you'd see in a movie. Let's go back to this one. We'll take that uh, that shadow, bring it back down. Right up front here. You can see the back kind of lifts up, and the front has a round type of deal. Let's leave that filter on. This is actually something. I'm going to take it, all the filter off. So now we're back to the original. We were looking at that one. Let's look at this one. The same thing, same types of ships. This one seems to have one right behind it or one right over it. Um, I'm not saving any of these. I'm not really filtering the heck out of them. This one's even clearer. Let's see if I can take some put some clarity where it does. I like race cars, I like spaceship. These are like space buses. I mean, you need to think about this. Um, it'd be like the days of Noah. So, what if these ships are just all from Mibiru? A couple of the different planets they got there. They're all gonna say, "Let's invade her," and they got their rapture. Because you know these these Anunnaki, we call them. They're fallen ones. They're shining ones. They call them in the Bible. They're the watchers. They're the one third of the angels. This looks like a saucer right here. I gotta go on. I gotta stay on that one page for like a week. Okay, so this is gross, but you've got to learn about it anyway. It's for your own good, it's for your own health, and the health of your family and your pets too. I've always had allergies, but they got worse when I moved into a new home in a new town. I started getting more and more sore throats, more headaches, and even acne. Another one I got from her. I kept taking ones to make sure I got a real clear one. Um, but what if these things are really our Anunnaki? And because there's some, there's no doubt there's some. Um, one of the best UFO shots I've ever seen. I mean, I could see Gina 8,000 8, hits on this thing in a couple days. She could be as big as uh, third phase of the moon or here at Team 10. She don't watch it. She'll have herself a paycheck coming in. <laughs> Look at this ship. Look at that thing, guys. Okay, so let's do a little, uh, let's do a little fun. Let's do a little radio. Let's uh, see if we can take this spaceship and uh, enhance it. Okay. And, you know, I'm just like a kid having fun. People. I'm going to do something. Do a little bit of contrast, bring the darker. Bring I'm here watching with you guys. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Brand new on the channel. 
and there's nothing subscribe wrong and those that are not brand new on the channel hang out and talk because this thing has a feather in we're in the last days people and jesus is returning soon less or more so get it as tight as i can now you'll see what i, I, I could do you can really you can really zone in on that thing bring the clarity out this is a ship that was almost not seeable brought that ship out there was one right there gina um i'm curious about this thing this thing thing stuff like that i think that they like drones but do you see this circle right here let's look at it see these are like drones let's go back to our radio tool again and i think this is a saucer and you know um there ain't nobody doing this kind of i don't think there's nobody doing what i'm doing right here on the internet the ship above that one right there we did now we're going to try to bring this thing out i think it's a saucer that's dark see i'm always looking for the hidden thing i don't know why you know how i am let's see if i can get the see how it's like loose right there i'm just wanting to bring it out past that diamond black mark and then i could just i don't want to touch the one i did up on top at all now let's see if i could contrast that it doesn't do much contrast either but so I think it's something hard to tell anyways that's the giveaway the two square uh, things anyways I did that so I can hone in on stuff and see if we can clear it up that's something but it's so so far out there some things right there so you don't know what you're looking at really california homeowners if you have a power meter like this on the side of your house you can qualify to erase let's just do a little radio I'm getting uh, better at this tool. You see how it just took those, it cleared those, see those lines, those pixelations? You should be able to clear that up. This is a real fun tool, Gina, and I will get a hold of you and let you know what it is. If you pursue this little hobby of yours, like my hobby, it grows because people start putting the feel the people really wanting to know so you kind of get an urge to do it right i want to get a really good shot of these i don't want it to pixelate you know, it pixelates and it refocuses and look at the sharpness sometimes you with these these filters you can go so easily just go over Okay, I'm going to continue this on the next. I'm doing 10 minute slides at a time on Bandicam free version because it's really good quality action Bandicam. Um, on my other computer, it was hard to work with, but I, I used it for a while. So let me go to the next shot. So I do 10 minute shots. You'll see the Bandicam logo. You guys check it out if you want something free to work with. This is awesome. You can do 10 minute clips of the sky. And see, I just stopped and started it. But uh, you do 10 minute clips of the sky. And. Um, we're still working on this piece from Gina. Now I really don't care how long this show goes. This is some fun material to work with. I mean, Gina, astounding. Okay, so I kind of separated those. Take the thing and I just pulled them out of the space and we could really look at them. I saved that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these and put them to the forensic in a second here. Go to the next shot. Next shot. I'm trying to get one that's got some other objects in it. Or something I, I haven't looked at yet. This was a nice little cool one. Yeah. I'm going to put that radio device. So we just work with what works, right? I'm just going to stretch it out. Put a little tube over it. Let's see. It goes a little down. 
Let's see what we can do with that one. Contrast always brings it a little bit darker, so you gotta compensate for it. You don't want it too bright, you don't want it too light. And as you can see, these things have like a magnetic field or something around it. You know? I'm going to put this together uh, best I can. I'm narrating while I'm working, which the bandy cam, you can narrate while you're working. Oops, I didn't want that. Let's see. These are saucers. They're like flying buses. I just pulled that one right out so it's clearer. I don't want that. Let me get rid of that tool. There's one right there. I could probably pull that thing right out of the air. You see, some of them are like saucer looking. A little bit wider and see if we can clear it up. Now I'm probably zoomed in like 300, 400 more times than, than uh, Gina had it. I know Gina's going to like this because it's really fun to do it. And that's a nice little sauce. I got the angles on it. So you know, you can sit there and say, ah, that's all made up. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, because I could tell if this stuff was fake. It had ed edges. It don't have any edges. See right here, it don't have any edges around it. Okay, so, as you can see, I got my little tool. I don't, don't use it a lot. See, as you can see, if you don't think that's a spacecraft, or that's something from America, it might even go down farther. But check this out. Um, this little area right here. It could be part of the ship, too. Now, see, this is where I'm talking about. Um, and you got your angles. Perfect angles. So it's not like a lens flare or a bug, and there's too many of them. This one kind of comes down like that. We think, we think, people. Nice work, Gina. Got me, got me wondering the trip. See now, it stays filtered. Now, if I go back to the radio tool, see, so I can refilter it again. These are beautiful filters. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I upgraded from a version 8 to a version 10. It was like night and day. Uh, that thing, I got to do it, you know. You can see the pixelation in there. Let's see if I can dehaze it a little bit and then make it darker. It gets rid of some of the glare when you dehaze it. If I don't dehaze it, see how it looks right there? Watch when I dehaze it. And it refocuses it, so I'm going to go with sharpness. Can't do much sharpness, it'll actually make it worse. But that one's a hard one to see, and that's why I'm going after it, because it could be the jewel. Um, take some of the black out of there. The smaller ones seem to be very hard to nail. That's just another one. Man, when you get this many UFOs, it's almost like a UFO extravaganza. Let's look at this ship. <laughs> look at that, guys. And I'm thinking this whole thing is something. Right there, I'm thinking that's all something. 
Maybe there's something there. A little contrast. This is definitely a bigger ship or some type of vessel. Shadow that a little bit. So you can see stuff's out there in space. Depends on how the situation is with the sun. Sure, that really does bring it to focus right there. I brought the, the clarity. Now oh, the white's up. This is clarity. See, so you can see that object up there. There's a whole structure. There's stuff going on out here, guys, that are beyond... I mean, they laugh at me. They'll be laughing at me saying, Chris is good, though. Look, he, he found that, too. <laughs> so let's just keep going. I'm up to, like, 30 minutes on this thing. Let's go to the forensic. I got enough to work with, I think. Um, I'm going to save this page just because it's interesting. pictures before I go there. And Gina, I love these ones right here. But Gina was talking about this one quite a bit. Let's let's clear that up for Gina. Check this out, Gina. Let's let's do the radial tool. Isolate the burn here. Let me say no pain, no gain. Here we go, folks. Man, look at that. I didn't want that one. I didn't want that one. I'm just going to isolate that one. That's a huge bus. You see that little orb on top of it? This one's right over the sun. Pretty interesting. You can see how it separates the, um, the atmosphere around it. <clears throat> and this one... I don't know if I could do this, but let me try it. I've got this new perspective tool. Let's see if I can if I could use this thing properly. Gives you different perspectives. Doesn't make much difference to me on this. about the best perspective I want. Go back to my radial tool. Touch my button. Bam. Let's put some clarity on it. Wow. That is a space bus. I just want to point out some things. Now I have an er invert mass. Watch this. I invert everything but the bus. And there now. It's a little bit different now. Everything in the scene I'm going to save a picture of that. So the bus itself stayed the same, but everything else got filtered. So let's save a picture of that. Now, this little device here, when you save your pictures, it actually puts a copyright notice in it, a link to your web page. Um, now, see, I got it inverted. I have a clip here. I got it inverted, right? I'm going to invert it back. So I was, I was isolating the bus. You can see the jets in the back, guys. You can see this, I think it's a like a drone. One there, one there. I don't know if this is government. This could be Russia. I mean, but they're, you know, NASA's seen all these ships coming out. So, there's a saucer. There's some buses. These are like cigar buses. You know, we've seen those cigar things. There's that little thing I pulled out on the other picture. Um, this thing down here, you pulled that out. That's a huge craft right there. And so, are the elite being picked up by these buses, being taken to another planet they've cultivated, or 
just, you know, it's sci-fi thinking, but, you know, if you watch too many movies where the whole Earth left, and you see these buses like this leaving, right? So, uh, pretty crazy. Let's see what else we can see. So, as we can see here, we get quite a bit of good shots. So this is just pure white against black. And, uh, and I could, I could really mess around with them if I wanted to. Like that, just put a real clear edge on them. But these are all. See how it has the highlight? Kind of like Star Trek stuff, you know? It goes up and down. Just keep going. So you could do it. You could do a 45 minute show. And these are some pictures she got. Um, there was a couple down here that she really brought out. I'm gonna see if I can bring it back out a little bit. Yeah, see how the little D haze. Let's take the D haze off. Let's just go autofocus. Let's go manual dehaze. So dehaze makes it a little bit darker. So you can see them clearly buses. Buses, tubes. Uh, boom, boom, boom. These are in a circle formation, like so. Space and beyond people. This is crazy footage. So I just kept snapping shots. I really like that bus right there. Um, there's another one with a lot of stuff. This thing to be always in the same spot. It's just the way she caught the pictures. So. Okay, let's go to the forensic tool. And I'll be right back. I found a way to run my old computers with no hard drive. Here it is, and it's not in the Somehow I messed with my voice on the actual video when I did the video for the live. <clears throat> and this morning on that broadcast, I didn't know it was going to broadcast. So, <clears throat> anyways, this is all I, I did all this yesterday afternoon. And uh, I love doing it, Gina. This was great footage.
just so you know, in a few seconds here, a few minutes, I'm going to start pulling out my forensic tool. And the forensic tool, uh, the sounds good on it, I think, I hope. Anyways, um, I explain it to you, okay? So keep watching. Um, I did this video. I took my time. I wanted you guys to really just enjoy seeing the sky. And, you know, some things you think they're fake and they're definitely real. Some things you think they're real and they're totally fake. I'm not a debunker, but I'd be the best one you ever met. Okay, so right now we're at this one area right here. Uh, Gina did these with um, with this yellow over here on the left, yellowish brown, which I like. Usually when you dehaze stuff, you get that. So what I did was I did a number of filters on it so you can compare it. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways. This ship right here is amazing. This one stays the same. It's the original. This right here is an amazing ship. Let me get them closer. This right here is amazing. This was too bright of a filter right there. I try everything. If I can bring it down. Definitely some freaky looking spaceships, huh? Close and personal, Doug. You fly over Doug's house every day. like a truckload of UFOs. Look at this one down here. That thing's huge. Looks like This thing is like an apartment building, people. Look at that. <laughs> Don, look at that. I'll show my wife. It's like an apartment building. It's not just a little ship. It's like an apartment building. My Lord, help us. What is coming down out of this? That's, that's zoomed in on what looked like a... I've been looking at these Gina buses. I call them the Gina bus UFOs. And... Uh, that one looks like an apartment building in the sky. Well, guys, there you go. <laughs> Gil, you want to see a city in the sky? <laughs> great shot, Gina. Anyways, you've seen it here. Gina did great work, guys. Um, then I'll go, this is the fifth addition to this video. So that I don't want to get off that sky thing. So let's do some work on the sky thing since it's going to stick its face out in front of me. Let's go to dehaze it from this view. This is Gina's original. Hang on. No, this is, I guess this is how I have it. So let's just go from here. I have an eraser tool that's phenomenal. Let's go. There's your original. And you could really see that thing. I, I got to bring it out. So let's go to the original. Let's go back to these one more time. I'll take you back to them on this new video. But this might end up being just a video clip for YouTube. 
But this is what I did to these folks. Uh, these are spaceships like this lined up. Let's take a few different filters so you can see. And I'm gonna call this hotel Ananaki here. Another hotel is Gil. Gil likes my hotels in the sky. Gil found my Rio footage, I think it was Gil. Yeah, look at that. footage I want to work with right there. You know that hotel, Ananaki? It's like a building. Okay. That's what I can do with it. Dehaze it. Brings it out a little bit more. Take the perspective as good as I might get it. That where they park their hovercrafts right here, the airport. Anyways, don't get any more insane than that, folks. I've seen it right here, Gina's Hotel in space. Definitely the weirdest thing I've seen there. Now look at the angles on this. Pull my hand, handy little marker out. Tell me this ain't a building. I'll eat my hat. And I don't even have a hat. Oh, I do have a hat. One of my subs gave me a hat. Richard, thank you for the hat. <laughs> See now, guys, this right here is another structure laying over that one. Tell me something ain't going on while we need a space force. What the heck? And then this looks like it's a little room with windows around it, right? Yeah, I got a great imagination. But look at this. I'm making it up. I don't know what that is, but it's part of the ship or part of the flying hotel. <laughs> and uh, I would suspect it probably goes something like this down here. If I took my declutter out, I'm not going to do that. But anyways, that's what you're looking at. Crazy, crazy. Which floor do you want? I want to live in the penthouse right here. So let's go on with this crazy video of mine. Um, before I go on, I want to trip this thing out. See if I could bring out what kind of gas he uses. It's crazy. Noise pollution. <laughs> Is that noise pollution? Yes, gas pollution. You can't use that extreme like that, but point out this right here. These are not spaceships, and I've lost my mind. Gina's lost her mind. Probably our husband is thinking Gina stopped it already. I think he loves doing it, sounds like. But this is what I like doing, and that, if that ain't real, I'll leave my hat. Right there. Boom. Okay. Let's go do some forensic. Okay, we're at the forensic pool with final base pictures. And um, as you can see, this mothership that they're charging $10 billion a seat. On the side here, you got a magnifier. I'm going to bring it way up. Auto contrast, you're going to see just about what it is real close. It uh, brings it up about another 300 
times. I'm not saying this large thing right here could be like where it comes down and picks them up, kind of like a conveyor area. Um, now if I go to uh, auto contrast by channel, the channels are different channels of color. So it's going to pull out. Ah! I'm watching my own video. Right. It's freaking me out. Ready? I start up here by the gills. I call What's up, gills. everybody? Welcome to my live show. Uh, I told you. I'm going to go way. back to the meteors in the sky in a minute. There's that black spot. That could be like the bay window. But it could it also be like, I don't know, like a space blimp they've created, like an arc. See in this right here, these areas. Oh, it brings out all the different surface content. So as you can see, <clears throat> there's some weird stuff going on with this. Look at this. Could it be a asteroid that alien technology has converted into a spaceship of anti-gravity? I don't know. Just seen it right here. See the edge of it? Pretty raw looking. Pretty rough looking. So whatever's on the surface, it's kind of different uh, colors, different metals, different rocks. Um, looking for like a gun bay or anything. You know, you don't know what you're gonna find with this tool. Okay, let's go on the genus stuff. Let me just do this. This is called a noise sweep. Level sweep. You'll see. And it will bring it out where we couldn't bring it out before. Now we also still have our little, uh, just a contrast of it. We'll bring the opacity down. And it works the opposite with the, the magnifier. You don't get nothing up there. The magnifier can't see in that level of darkness. So you bring that sweep, makes it darker too, in a different way than gamma. Dark space in between there. It's real close. The opacity will just bring it into focus, right? Crazy pitch. Final days does some good work. Shout out the final days. Anyways, let's go to the next piece. This is a Clipped up wasn't cleaned up that much. This is just, you know, let's go to the magnifier, auto contrast. It's going to show you the difference of the metals. You guys, looking at that? Come close and personal with these UFOs. A little something out there coming in. Look at this bus. Level sweep. A little darker view. It brings out the edges really good. That's an auto contrast. Let's just do regular contrast so you can see it. Now, Luminous Grantis it shows you the actual physical objects. The more intense I go, the more it brings it up. And the opacity, how, how much, how less. See, now this, uh, your your tool, your magnifier, auto contrast, this I don't think matters much down here. 
Yeah, it does. Okay, so see so by the channel gives you the color. Up here, you don't get the color by channel. But when you leave it on that setting, look at that, guys. Those are actual spaceships. Cutting through the ass of the bus right there. Looks like the Space Voyager. Forget aluminum hats. Right. Oh, aluminum house. <laughs> Pop back over here to the equal. This to mean. <laughs> you know, my mind don't this want to believe it, and I actually noise. made the video. Not, ah! I need to really use a lot of this one. Just the normalizing it. Now, as I bring it into the um, luminous granite. My colors also change on my little filter. You get to see stuff you wouldn't see. In front of this bus. You can almost make out the door. You can make out the double level. Yeah. It's huge. <clears throat> it's like a little building flying. Like I showed you earlier, a little building flying. See, now that stuff comes out more in a different way, different light. Their actual objects, that's the okay. So, this is gross. The, uh, frequency, you go down the level sweep, and give you the darker view. Like Gina was saying, you can see the colors on them. And I don't know if it's just the sun you know, reflecting off of them. They definitely don't look human origin, do they? When you bring the opacity up and down, it's going to change your view. Clearer, less clearer. Um, let's go auto magnifier level sweep. That one's definitely green. That one's green front and back. Militant. Maybe these are the militant ships. <laughs> you know how they do militant. This one's green and brown. Kind of pinkish mauve. Wow, that's some sleek looking fast thing there. Who knows what these things are? What kind of warships they are, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna go to the next. Now, you remember I did this picture? I'm gonna show you a little bit of the angles on Hotel Hell here. Whatever this thing is, this structure right here. You see how the angles are just perfectly cut? These are bay windows or something. I, I'm convinced they are. And you go up on top of that. Now, this could be a craft that's sitting like in a carport, right? I'm just making stuff up, guys. You know, look at the angles on this. I'm just showing you details of it. Um, this is real stuff going on. See the straight lines? You see the cutouts? Notice these cutouts. Up here is more like a gunship. Look at that thing. It's like a gunship, ray ship. Who knows? This could be the fire coming out of the back right here. I'm just uh, using my imagination to make a show, but you know, you guys got an imagination too. You talk about that. How surreal is this picture? This is like a hot rod. Look at this thing. What was that? Battlestar Galactica? They had a small craft. This could be one, some of those fighter ships. And these fighter ships, I noticed that they're hanging out around the hotel. Um, you know, the Indians and the Chinese, they did all that history with the gunships and people fighting and nuclear attacks. I've watched all that. Um, it's crazy, right? Crazy footage. It's as clear as I can get this piece. Like I said, yeah. I was constantly getting these giant faces. Right here. Where'd he go? <laughs> anyway, 
because I'll run across them again. Right here. He's in the dark. Look at that, right here. Hovering out right below it. It's a giant looking face. Anyways, that's my imagination going off again. You ain't never gonna get a view of a hotel and up by the sun like that ever again. Look at the lines, see that? Part of that hotel that sticks up. We don't need to see it because it's so dark. But this tool kind of brings it out. Let's see if I change it to the histamine or a histogram. See if I can get that face. What is the face? And it just turns the dark spots blue. The shaded areas. See how it has the uh, windows in it? You don't see them unless you use this tool. You can see the windows right there in the side of that building of what it looks like. Or their forks. But you can see the straight lines. This thing looks like a gunship. And the reason I say you got that one object right there sticking out and the bottom object's like an actual ship. See? Anyways, makes for a weird conversation. Wow, look at that thing. That don't look like something. I did just to give a different color outline when I do this. The ship stands out perfectly by itself. Some different kind of ships you don't have to see. If we go to the Hisp uh, Luminous Grandis, there you go. Look at the angles on that thing. There you go. That's cool looking. Now we check them out. Oh, here we go. This one's just got the outline. They use this tool for like bring your fingerprints and uh, take a picture under a telescope. Then you can examine the picture. It's like a forensic tool they would use for police work, investigative tool. Looks really good for UFOs. Some flying pencils. But they're definitely not pencils. Look at that. They've got rocket engines in the back. Yeah, that was Gina. <laughs> Looks like a part of a puzzle, like those two go together. And I wouldn't be surprised if this alien technology is that smart where they could. They go together like 50 ships into one giant building, like we just seen. Now I did this black and white. Let's do the auto contrast. Just to see what these edges look like in black and white. Like the top of a, you know, it's like, you ever go to, ask my wife. What's the name of that place we went to where they had the jousting gone? Huh? Medieval times. This this building, guys, see the roof on it? It's black. You can see it in this picture. It's like a roof on it. And here's like the windows to the hotel. <laughs> oh my god. That you know, I was saying that might be the a spaceship, but that just might be like a you know, a living a living area. Here's under the carport, I called it. But look at the angles. It's like a building, like medieval times. It looks just like LA. Here's some, here's some of his special cars. <laughs> High powered. Look at this one. You can see the metal on it, guys. Black and white. And here we go with the. See, that's what I'm saying. These could be like parts that pop together. I mean, it's kind of far fetched. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to act like it. But you know, um, you've seen the one ship that like fit into the one area. Um, could they end up? connecting together making like a larger city i mean just food for thought right let's go on it's crazy on my channel 
Someone said, am I going to lose my mind like Dr. Albers? I don't think Dr. Albers lost her mind. I think Dr. Albers is showing you something you don't want to wake up to. <laughs> I think she does a great show. I mean, she's trying to put words. To, I'm not even going to attempt to try to put words to any of this, you know? Um, I mean, look at this thing. I'm showing you this stuff up like 10,000 close. No. I don't know what that is. Use your imagination. <laughs> okay, I popped it over to another clip. Now, see these two pieces right here? We had them blown up. Remember, I told you they look like they fit together. Here's your ship again. And I'm, I, well, the reason I'm going over it is because it's very interesting. I like these pictures. Like Gina says, I really like my pictures. I like your pictures, Gina. These are amazing. I'm glad I got this tool to do this. If you email me or I'll email you the address for this tool. I don't tell everybody. You find it good. Do shows like I'm doing. Do shows like you do. But it's not like a secret. Um, let's do the level sweep. I'll bring it up. And get more of the granite. Now you see these circles right here? Oops. I don't like them. It's two giant circles. Now, is this some kind of dimensional thing going on? Um, I mean, this is floating out in space. What's going on? Are these things here? Look at the top of this ship, Gina. When I use this filter, it brings out like stuff that's going on on top of it. I don't know why. Let's try to figure it out. Start a filter. <clears throat> use the magnifier with the histi uh, histogram and we'll just really bring stuff out see that color purple coming out of that thing we've got a little gunship right there Oh yeah, most people don't have enough patience to look at stuff like this. So, oh, it's fake, so they can go to something else that is fake and believe the fake stuff they're actually looking at. Like this? This looks like Legos. Okay. Move it on, move it on. This is my last Here's a piece I really cleaned up. A small picture, but look how tight the picture is now. These things are like round buses, like tubes. Remember this one? I think I, I brought this one out with a filter, right? That thing. That's definitely an engine. There's your crap. Okay. Elon Musk. Put these up there? No, I don't think so. Um, are they connecting Legos? See how Gina and you were telling how they're stacked so perfectly? I think they actually could interlock. I'll just say that. These could interlock. Just so if you're wondering, see how they have those angles are all alike. And certain ones have certain angles. Now, you know, these things are not using gasoline or rocket fuel. These things are using anti-gravity. The reason I say that is you can see the atmosphere around the ship is disturbed. Especially on this one, you see all the disturbance. But, you know, we also notice that there was some. Let's look at the luminous on this. Brings out the angles of the ships. They're definitely tubes. You know, they let me throw this up there a little bit. For this thing. Everybody thinks Chris is crazy. Well, you go get this tool, do it yourself, and tell me if you're crazy. This is a real deal. Huh? A real deal. Huh? There you go, the angle line. Orange Um, this is one of the original shots I got it, uh, that I took from our video. Before I clean them up, so you can see how much cleaning them up with this tool and all that stuff helps you. So I just want to see the angle of the pictures. You see how they move the space and time around it. Um, let's go to the auto contrast and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. This is going to finish. I'm not going to do more than an hour. Share this video. That's real low shots. I've never been able to show up with that YouTube.
Now I'm going to point to something. This is me talking live. I'm going to point to something that looks like a giant on a balcony. So eyes peeled, okay? Thank you. 